Well, it definitely pays to knock on a door if there's something that's behind the fence. Worst thing they're gonna say is no or they're not interested. Today, it really worked out in my favor and the gentleman's as well. Quick backstory is I live straight down the road. Basically, for the last 20 years, there's been something hiding behind this fence. Yeah, I was just walking along with my partner, Casey, just recently. And I've always noticed uh, a Model A frame perched up on the fence. Just decided to go in and say, hey, maybe it's for sale. Knocked on the door. The frame wasn't for sale, but something else was and was able to luckily make a deal. It's um, pretty hard to keep the grin off my face, but I'll show you what you could see from the road. That right there is a Model A frame right there. And this fence covers everything. I used to go to school down here, homes that way, and basically would walk past this every day for the last 20 years, not having any idea what was there. There's the Model A frame. There's the fence. And right here, those four tire prints right there is where this car has sat for the last 20 years right under this big tree, sort of, pretty wild. Ready? Ready as will ever be. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Oh. Hold on a sec, Dad, we might have to go straight. follow the chain we made it you can believe it we just towed that sucker straight down the road the tire was a little bit wonky tube shredded but she's home you can believe it sat right there put my feet down there and held on for dear life
So, the truck is washed. Um, it looks really good. It's dry now, which is cool. And yeah, yesterday was a really fun day. Um, especially fun hanging out with my dad and being able to pick this up and pick it up so close to home, like literally not having to use the trailer, that was a bonus. Um, having to put a chain in the back of the truck was amazing. I've never done that before, being so close. It was probably almost better than actually making the deal and buying this truck was just being able to spend the day with the, the old boy and you know just seeing how much fun it was for him as well yeah these are kind of the things i miss from living uh on the other side of the world but when i do get to get back and share these memories they, they mean a lot and i'm sure a lot of you guys have kind of you know gone through that before and and have had those experiences and keeps you keeps you feeling really good so anyways we pressure washed it cleaned everything out there was so much moss and dirt and and like there was a little mouse kind of little area they were living in there ages ago it was under a piece of plywood luckily they weren't there but yeah there was so much stuff in there and we were able to get it out and then give it you know a, a good good blast with the pressure washer and to to our luck we didn't blow too much of it away i kind of thought that we were gonna you know get in there and start blowing some panels and start you know blowing some rust out of it but this thing is solid um which is really cool and surprising for sitting outside for the last 20 years basically under a bunch of big massive pine trees so that's a that's was pretty cool a gentleman messaged me last night basically he's really interested in purchasing the truck and it wasn't really for sale and we've been kind of chatting. He seems like a, a rad guy. This possibly could happen, um, and this might actually be potentially sold. Um, we're kind of working on it now, but I'll kind of leave it at that because um, I don't want to jinx it yet. But I put an ad up last night. I haven't slept much because I've been too excited, but I put an ad up for a 28, 29 Roadster body. I've done it for ages, just trying to find a really good one from the one that I had sold four years ago um, the last time prior to being home. Uh, I drove 10 hours with mom and dad and dragged a trailer and we actually went and picked up a, a roadster that is now belongs to a, a really good mate of mine in, in um, down near we are, where we are in, uh, in Australia, which is really cool. He's a great guy, so I'm happy it went to him. But, you know, look, like rent's got to be paid and, you know, tools got to be bought. So unfortunately, sometimes, you know, you don't want to sell stuff, but it, it went to, a, you know, a good home and I was able to, you know, keep the, the shop running for a little bit longer, which was great. So I put an ad up, went to sleep, woke up this morning. It's early. We're about to jump in the car and do a 12 hour trip and uh, had a message from a gentleman who I've organized to go and see today on the way to Calgary. And he's got some 21 inch Model A wheels that I can use on the Percolili race car. They're straight. They're, uh, they should be good, the price was right, so hopefully, you know, those will work out. And to my luck, which I usually don't have much of sometimes, he's got a body. And he said, be patient, you're gonna be here soon and I'll show you some stuff I have. And he, then he sent me a photo and I have not slept since I've seen that photo. It's a 28, 29 Roadster body, sitting in the weeds, doesn't look that rusty, I'm ecstatic to see it and it potentially could be for sale. I'm not sure the price yet. We're gonna obviously have to negotiate some stuff. I need to try and sell this other truck to make this all work. I'm really excited that this could potentially be my dream car and my dream car is a 2829 Roadster on 32 rails and just, you know, not even pinched, just plopped right on there nice real heavy chopped windshield with a really nice top on it and yeah i got 36 rear end i got 44 wheels got tires i got a 32 heavy axle 44 spindles a 39 gearbox i got a flathead sitting there with a bunch of nice goodies this is stuff i've i've kept and i've saved for a long time and this is kind of the the no-go zone for selling stuff if I need to make a little bit of money. I've I've hidden it so it's out of sight, out of mind. So I'm I'm not you know tempted to jump in there. I got some really cool 39 Pontiac taillights 
Uh, I got a really nice steering wheel that maybe a few of you have already seen on the channel that I've restored. And that one's kind of just a wall hanger there waiting for a home. So, you know, fingers crossed, I can make it a home. This might work. So waiting for mom and dad, my partner, Casey, we're gonna jump in. We got a big trip ahead of us. Yeah, we're gonna pop in and see if we can make this work. So we'll see you in quite a few hours. Let's see what this Roadster body is all about. We just left Kelly's place and holy shit. The Roadster for one is probably, yeah, it, it's the unicorn. This is, um, it's just, it's all there and it's in really good shape. The roof bows are still there. The, the back um, trunk lid still opens. Like it's in such good shape. It is ridiculous. I got the whole family here. We all just went and saw it. Hello. Casey's back there. We got dad, he's my co-pilot. Hello. Mom in the back, she, she's actually holding a Dairy Queen ice cream, if you believe it or not. Casey has never had Dairy Queen ice cream. And um, for those of you who are familiar with it, we had it our, basically every year for our birthday. And it is delicious. So we're very excited to introduce you to, uh, to the ice cream cake. But anyways, back to the Roadster, holy cow. Like I said, this guy was genuinely the nicest guy I think I've ever met. And everyone could agree, he is extremely humble, really nice to talk to, has an insane collection of stuff. And hopefully we can make a deal on the Roadster. So we're just pulling out and we're gonna chat over the next couple days. Hopefully I can sell this truck and make it all work. And I might be bringing home the uh, the dream car. So back on the road, we got another 12 hours to go. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that notifications. And on next week episode, hopefully we will be doing the road trip back and dragging something behind the trailer back home. So we'll see you then.